Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see about commodity breakout levels. By watching this video you can gain some knowledge about market so that you can start to your trade on your own. Those who are new to channel kindly subscribe the channel and select the ring bell. Channel name is NSE Commodity Trader. By selecting the name of this channel you will go to home page. In home page you can see more strategy videos, indicator videos. We are also taking more advanced trading strategy class. If you want to know about it, you can WhatsApp or contact the number. If you want to open a DMAT or trading account, you can select the link in below description or contact the number. Crude oil. Crude oil morning opened as a gap up. It is opened around 3830 range. After it opened a gap up, market started to falling down from the gap, from the upside because market is in currently a pure selling trend due to the overall selling pressure in the market market started falling very hugely according to the current trend market falled up to the range of 3730 range currently 3730 is facing a new level support for the crude oil on further breakout of the 3730 you can expect some still downtrend in the market also Meanwhile, for the vice versa, only if market breakout 3790 range means you can expect the market in upside also. Otherwise, market will trade the in between ranges only. Copper Copper opened at 427.85 range. After it opened, market rallied very well. But market didn't able to break out the 430 resistance due to that market started to falling during that falling market came down up to 427 range so currently market is facing a strong resistance at 430 range if a breakout has been seen at the 430 range only means you can expect the copper in the further upside if there is no breakout at the 430 range market is going to be a downtrend so you can expect the copper more in downside on further breakout of 427 you can expect the market in more downside also so if you see any breakout level at 427 range means you can again go for fresh selling in the copper and you can expect more in the downside let's take a look at jink mini what happened jink mini opened at the range of 175.80 after it opened near to the resistance of 176 market started to falling during that falling market came down up to 174.30 range again market recovered but market is still facing a 176 year strong resistance due to that market again started to falling if you see any breakout of 174 range you can go for selling in the jink mini and you can expect it in more downside also only if a breakout has been happened at 176 range means you can expect the market to be the positive for jink mini if there is no breakout for 176 then it is going to be a selling trend for the jink mini we are also taking more advanced trading strategy class and we are also providing levels for commodity if you want to know about it you can whatsapp or contact the number which is given below of the video we are also providing levels for commodity also if you want to open your dmat or trading account kindly select the link in below description or contact the number you will the guidance will be provided for you in future if you want to see more videos like this kindly subscribe my channel and select the ring bell so that you will get notifications by watching these videos you will be updated on the market also thank you